remember how Lizzie McGuire had her own cartoon version of herself? Well, thanks to AI, you can now create your own cartoon version of yourself or even a character. Basically, you can now create your own brand mascot. So this could be like Lizzie, a version of you, or it could be a character that you come up with that is just this extra little mascot character for your brand. Or if you already have a character for your brand, you can bring it to life thanks to AI. This is such a great way to add extra personality or branding and just some fun and playfulness because who doesn't want a little cartoon version of themselves? It can be so much fun and make things feel a little bit less serious and a little bit more playful and cute. I've been working away on something really fun for you so I can't wait to show you this. So in this video I'm going to walk you through the exact steps you need to take in order to do this from creating that character to actually bring it to life with animation. And don't worry you don't need to pay for any tools either. I'm going to show you how you can do this completely for free. We're going to be using ChatGPT and Hendra. So you can do this using the free versions. Your limit will basically just be how many times you can actually request things. So you'll be able to actually create these characters completely for free. But if you want to create lots of characters or, or create a lot of different animations that then pushes you beyond the free threshold, you will then have to pay if you want to do that. But what I'm going to show you today, you can do just using the free versions. All right, so step one is finding the right inspiration. This is where you want to do a little bit of research to try and find the kind of character style you want. So it may be based on a particular cartoon you like, you know, you could reference the Lizzie McGuire style, or it could be something like The Simpsons, or you may want to look at different illustrators. So looking at different books, illustrations, looking up illustrators and styles that you like. Now this is where you need to consider your own brand. What kind of style is going to suit your brand? So think about the overall feeling of your brand and the styles that suit it. Then you want to notice what about it actually appeals to you and it suits your branding. So it could be watercolor textures, thin sketchy lines, or it could be thick bold lines and solid color. So it's really important to actually look at it and reference those things, you know, things like big eyes or really thin legs, anything about that style that you think is going to be appropriate for what you're trying to create. Take note of that because we don't want to completely copy an illustrator and make something that's exactly their style. We more want to reference what about it, what we like to really help chat GPT understand the kind of style that you are after and what suits your branding. So just like an illustrator would look at different references for different styles to create a certain style, that's what you're doing here. You're looking at references and trying to find what is it that you want to bring into your illustration. Now your next step is finding the right base photo. When I first tried this out, I gave it a photo that was more just a profile shot with just my face and it made my body look really out of proportion and not me. So it's really important to find the right base photo, something that really captures an essence of who you are and that feeling you want to create with it. So think about things like your pose, your facial expression, and also make sure it's full body or at least very close to. But you want to show most of your body so it understands the body proportions. It's not going to make you look too big or too small or just put you out of proportion because it can only see your face. So if that's really important, you need to consider that. Now you can, as your brand mascot, do other things. So you might want to do your pet, for example, or you may want to base it on some other kind of character, but you do need to make sure you get that base photo of what that character should look like so that ChatGPT knows what to base it on and make sure it's really capturing that essence, right? Because otherwise the results might not turn out exactly as you hoped. Now you also need to consider outfit here. So I do Ideally, you'd want your base photo to be in an outfit that's going to be the outfit you want to use. But if it's not, you need to go find a picture of an outfit you can also share with chat as well to show it the kind of look you want it to have. So either make sure that that photo has the perfect outfit or go on Pinterest or go online, find images of, you know, the outfit. Make sure it's not in another character and someone else isn't wearing it so it doesn't confuse chat at all. But just find the actual photos of the different pieces of clothing and accessories so that you can reference them and say, this is the outfit I want this character to be wearing. All right, now jumping into ChatGPT, it's time to put in our prompt. So you want to upload your base photo and also an outfit photo. If your base photo isn't perfect and you want to show, share a few different photos, you can do that as well. Feel free to upload as many photos as you feel necessary to show it the kind of look that you want. And then we're gonna put in our prompt. Now, don't expect that you'll get that perfect result straight away. You may need to tweak your prompt. 
So follow along this prompt, but if it doesn't quite turn out, I'm going to share with you some troubleshooting so that you can go in and tweak your prompt and try again. So using these images as a guide, create a full body and then reference your illustrator style illustration. Use and then details of the illustration. So you could say, for example, use sketchy lines, use watercolor texture, that sort of thing. She or he must have and then your hair color and your eye color. And be wearing and then you want to describe that preferred outfit including accessories and finally you want to say place on a green screen background now this is our initial prompt and we can add some tweaks to this so for example if you want a few different poses sometimes chat gets a bit confused if you say okay now make this character do this sometimes it won't give you the exact same character again it can be tricky trying to repeat characters so if you want a few different poses that you can work with later on you may actually want to add to this initial prompt and ask Ask it for a few different poses otherwise it's most likely going to create a pose that's like your base photo so if you want a different pose you may also want to add into this initial prompt the actual pose you want so do consider also your pose when it comes to poses too the other thing that you can do is also name your character so you can also add into the prompt this character's name is and then add a name that way if you ask it to do things in future you can say now create you know this character's name with this pose now it, this may work for you or it may not chat gpt can be a bit funny in that way but later on when we go into hendra i found it is a little bit better at actually using the same character doing different poses so if you're struggling to get chat gpt to do different poses of the same character we can then move on to our next tool to do that the best way to actually get the exact same character in different poses is going to be actually to ask it to do that initially so say i would like four poses I would like this one, this one, and this one. So you really want to list out those poses. Otherwise, you may just be stuck with that one image and you can't get different poses in the future. So do consider that as we get started. Now, the other troubleshooting with ChatGPT is if you don't get the results you want. So if you've gone and done this and the result it comes out with isn't really quite what you're after, you may be tempted to straight away say, oh, can we tweak this? Or can we just make the character a little bit more like this or that? And it, sometimes it just gets worse. You start to get actual worse results rather than it improving. So sometimes the best thing to do is start a fresh chat. Start fresh, put in your prompt, but make tweaks to your prompt based on what went wrong last time. So if there was something not quite right about the illustration style, add more detail into the style you want. Or if there was something not quite right about the character, try uploading a different photo or try explaining more about how you want it to look. So so what I've really found is if things go wrong, don't try and confuse it more because you can end up with a complete mess. Start fresh and then just improve your prompt. So once you have your character, now it's time to head over to Hendra so that we can animate it. All right, so now we are in Hendra. So what we want to do is go to video and this is what it looks like. So what we're going to do here is we're going to basically be adding our start frame, which is our image. So we're going to go to start frame and then upload image. So we've got our image in there we've created. Then we can either upload our audio or we can write a script. So we click on here on audio script and you can upload an audio or you can record an audio within here or you can generate speech, which is where you actually give it a script and then you choose an audio. So you choose a voice. So if we go to upload audio, now, an easy way to record audio is just using voice memo on your phone and then sending that file over. You can also record some audio on the actual computer itself. It's up to you how you want to do that. So I just recorded using a voice memo, sent over. And you can see here we can crop out any um, space here. So if there's any silence, you just want to cut it down to just the way you're talking, you can do that. You can also change the voice. If you want to do the audio and say it, but then change to a different voice, you can go here to AI voice changer and there's all these voices you can choose from. So you can listen to them, try them out and then choose one. Then we're going to go add to video. Now, if you didn't want to use this, you can also say generate speech and you can actually write what you want the voice to say and then choose the voice. And you've also got here create voice too. So there's plenty of different options and ways that you can go about this. So it really depends if you want it to be you or whether you want to create a character. So if you want to create a character, you probably want to choose a voice and then consistently use that voice that you've chosen. 
So the next thing we want to do, we've got our sound, we've got our image start frame. Now we want to describe what we want to actually happen. So you want to think about the gestures and the emotions of the character as they're saying this thing. So for example, we can write here, happily talking, what? Happily talking while leg sways gently back. So you sort of have to think of yourself like a script writer, almost like you're, you know, writing a script for a, a movie or a play. How do you want the person to talk and what kind of actions do you want them to be taking as they do it? So once you put in your prompt, so it's really up to you how much detail you want to add in in terms of the emotion and the gestures. Really think about what it is you're trying to create. And here we go, we're going to press it. Now, apparently it can take a bit longer when you've got free, it can be quicker if you're using paid. I found it doesn't really take too long, but but just a warning, it may take a while, so you may want to just get it going, do other things, and then come back once it's finished. So let's have a look at a few that I created earlier. So this one is the same sort of thing, I use that same image, and the text prompt I wrote was thoughtfully talking in a reflective way while slowly moving a leg a little. So this is how it turned out. Then we also have this one, which I simply wrote happily talking. So I just kept one very simple. So as you can see, you're still going to get a really good result just from a simple prompt. But if you are really after a particular movement, a particular look and feel, the more information you give, the more you're going to get exactly what you're after. Now, if you have a character, so if instead of using yourself, you're using a character, this is an example of an existing image. And I've just written happily waving and talking. So I wanted the waving action while they talk. And I also used, um, and I also use an audio voice for this one. Now creating more characters. So here I've gone and created another character using that original one because I really liked it. Couldn't get ChatGPT to create more poses. So what I've done is I've given it that original one and then I've written, can you create this same character in the same style and colors in different in a different pose. She is sitting down in a vintage style office chair with a laptop looking kind, gentle, and but busy. So as you can see here, what you want to describe if you want to try and get that same character is you want to tell it it needs to be the same character and same style and colors, but a different pose. Then you wanted to describe that pose and what's in that actual image. So if it's just a pose or whether there's props, you want to describe them. And then also talk about how you want this person to look. So I've added in looking kind, gentle, but busy. So think about, you know, those gestures, posture, the overall feeling you're trying to create. And then you're more likely going to get something that feels very similar to the original. So this was the original image. And this was the extra pose I got. So as you can see, it's got a very similar look to it. So if you have had trouble in ChatGPT trying to create that same character in different poses, you can use Hedra for this. I did find it a bit more successful than ChatGPT. So now you have your brand mascot. So when you download it, it will have that green screen background. So what you want to do is in your editing tool, you just want to get rid of that green screen. And now you have your animation that you can put on top of any video. And if you'd like to learn more ways that you can strengthen your brand and create raving fans and do those little tweaks that just take your brand further, you can download my free guide. You'll find the link in the description below. And if you'd like some more tips about creating a brand that stands out and doesn't feel like everyone else's, you can check out the video why your brand doesn't need to look like everyone else's. So get creative and happy creating.